A flying saucer? You, the thing is, you can't build round ships in Starfield. And they are very designed to be front to back. So we, we can't do a... You know what? We'll try. The C-57D space cruiser from Forbidden Planet. And we're going to take a shot at it. And uh, I, I, I hope you enjoy it. Let's get to it. All right. Now, uh, how often, what with every single one of my ship builds, I say, let's uh, let's start with the lander. Mm. Let let's actually start at the top, and just you know see what happens. See if we can break this thing. Um. So I'm actually going to start at the top of the ship, try to create a, a rounded shape for. Uh, where the uh, control center would be uh, for this ship. And uh, what we've got here is uh, a Galleon S204 cargo hold. Now, to simulate that you might have been building this at ground level to start with, uh, we're going to bring this down uh, a bunch of levels. So we're going to double click on it all, and then we're going to bring it down. And then hopefully, what I think will happen uh, is once we put the once we put the bay on it, it will bring it up. So yeah, I don't know. That's roughly at ground level. So we're gonna take this uh, Galleon S two hundred four cargo hold from Protectorate Systems and just start with that. Let's see what we can get from here. Um, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put a Deimos uh, hull on the front and back of that uh, cargo hold. We're going to take this Deimos Hull A, pop that on there, and then the Deimos Hull A on the other side. Okay? Now, next thing is to put the Tayo mid-cap on the sides of that, and you can uh, flip that around. So if we wanted this, the flip side of this, you can hit uh, Control G and then just hit Z until you get the flipped around version for that. And then we're going to do a couple of things that are a little nutty, I thought. We're going to use the Tayo nose cap starboard and place that on the Tayo mid cap. Uh, and we're going to place it. It's a it's it's two levels high, so we're going to place the top level attached to the front of the Tayo mid cap. Okay, if you end up attaching it the other way, uh, just uh, hold your mouse on it and then hit R, uh, and then that would attach it one up and hit F to attach it one level down. Okay, flip it around. Tayo nose cap port uh, on this side. Uh, in the back, on the port side, in the aft, uh, is another Tayo cap. Flip it around. There you go, starboard aft. Now we've got this little gap here, and we're going to fill that a little bit with these Tayo side caps. Place them right on the side of the Deimos hull. They have one mass, but as you can see uh, from the total mobility that you see down below, um, we're not even going to care. Uh, because here's the thing. To build this ship this way, you're going to need to be level 60 to get all of the ship parts. You're going to need to have piloting four, starship design four. Uh, you're going to need everything. All of it okay and uh, your own ship builder as well unless you want to fly all over the galaxy getting these various pieces we're going to put the hope tech nose B on the front of this Deimos hull and on the back we're going to do the same thing back of this one we're going to put the hope tech nose B aft on the back of that okay 
If you want to move this around the field, double click on it, you can move it all around. That's great. So we'll be moving some of these pieces up and down. Uh, and you can kind of see we've created a negative space under here. Well, we're going to put the Deimos control station underneath there. So if it wanted to go on top, what you do is you hit F until you're down two levels. See if you can get it to fit underneath. Down another level, F. Okay, just underneath there. Because you'll see if we place this uh, Hope Tech Nose B behind that, it lines up with the one above it. All right. If you want to continue with this cowling, you can place these Tayo side caps on either side of the aft portion of that hab that we just placed, right? And I'll let you look that look at that from the underside here in a second. And we're going to take the Magellan C1X cockpit and place it underneath uh, this Deimos hull. It's going to attach to the hab underneath. If you wanted to attach it directly to the hab, you can hit G while mousing over this hab attachment here. And then it would place this Magellan C1X cockpit right in there. Since we already have it out, uh, we're going to hit F a couple times and drag it underneath there. Okay, but let me show you what you would do if you wanted that cockpit uh, the other way. Hit G while you're on that particular did we lose our ship completely? My goodness. Yeah, because we're at minus 18. I must have uh, must have held down F at some point. All right, let's zoom back in on it. Check your level. If you're not at level zero here, uh, it can be really hard to see it. And maybe I was zooming out from this too much. If you hold, uh, if you actually hit G while you're holding your uh, mouse pointer over that connector, then we can go to the cockpits and uh, pick the Magellan C1X cockpit for that. Place it right there. Okay. And now all of this is attached. So uh, like I said before, if you wanted to move it up, you could double click, hold your left mouse down on it, and then hit R a couple times, raise it up. Okay, if you know that, well, all these pieces here, I'm going to be building uh, my landing bay underneath it. So that's great. Um, it may be easy to assemble the next part of the ship uh, all together as well. So we're going to use that uh, assemble it all and then double click it. Um, little trick there. We're going to start with the Deimos workshop. Okay, workshop two by one. That is a hab that's going to go uh, underneath this front portion here. Uh, but this will have roughly a circular shape to it. Uh, so when we get it all done, it'll be easy to place this right in the middle of it on the top. Okay. Uh, then we're going to place on the sides of that the Deimos hull. If you wanted some walk around space, you could put. Uh, cargo bays here or uh, companion ways I suppose um, but I didn't uh, I didn't think that we needed those so because the theta pinch d9 reactor from Ammon Dunn c-class reactor with 37 generated power you need piloting rank 4 starship design rank 4 because it has these attachments on the front of it we're gonna pull this over and attach it behind the Deimos hull. Now remember, we need to have that second level visible on the top, and you'll see why uh, when we get to placing the top on our little saucer. And then this grav drive doesn't have an attachment on the side, otherwise we could have attached it to the side of the hab. Uh, but we can attach it to the back of this Deimos hull in the same fashion as the reactor. Okay, with one level uh, exposed on the top there, see? And that is the NG340 grav drive from Nova Galactic, and it has 45 grav jump thrust. Starship design rank 3. Okay. Now behind these, we're going to place three Deimos hulls. 
And I'm going to delete the other two. Because I don't mind showing you. You can hit Control G to copy that piece and then just pull it over. And that's faster than uh, choosing it from the selector all the time. Uh, regrettably, we will need engines uh, for the ship. So I've picked the flattest engine that sort of goes with the cowling, and luckily, uh, each of these produces 5,250 maneuvering thrusts, requiring Starship Design Rank 4. To get this uh, brand of engine at all, you're going to need Starship Design of some level. But this is the Ammon Dunn Dunn 71 engine. We're going to place three of those behind the Deimos Hull A. Okay. Great. Uh, now for some cowling. So on the front here, we're going to move this piece over. Double click on it. Move it over a little bit. We're going to place three of the Stroud nose cap B on the front of all this mess. And you see them design a lot of ships like this, but we're going to try and make it look semi-circular. I'm hitting Control G and then pulling those pieces over. Okay. Now we have one little side connector on this, and there goes the Stroud Cap A, port side, four, top, okay? And then we're going to pull another one of these over on the other side. Now while you're doing this, after you've placed that uh, first piece, you can hit Control G, and then pull that next piece that you're going to have out and have that ready to go. Uh, you can also hit uh, hit Control G and then hit Z to uh, rotate it around. It'll still be the four piece uh, or you can hit the arrow keys to get to the next variant which will make it the aft piece and then hit Z to rotate through um, right side up, upside down. Okay, but we're going to use this Stroud Cowling it is three uh, ship component units long. It makes a great attachment for the mid of the ship because the ship is five wide in the front and so should be uh, five wide on the side as well. Sort of creating that uh, circular shape. We're going to attach another Stroud Cap A to the front. Not yet, we're not. We need the uh, Tayo mid cap. There's only one attachment on this side uh, of this Stroud cowling, but this mid cap will let us will let us attach a Stroud cap A to the front, to the fore and aft of this uh, Tayo mid cap. Okay, same thing on the other side. We're going to place the Stroud cowling against the Theta pinch reactor, the and the two Deimos hulls. Then we're going to pull over the Tayo midcap, and we're going to complete the cowling on that piece. And then, although I probably should have done it before, we're going to take these two uh, Stroud Cap A's for the aft version, for aft top version, and pull those onto the ship. Okay, creating an all attached. Uh, circular, sort of semicircular. <laughs> it's kind of almost like an octagon or something. Uh, but it do, but it is five components wide on the side, and five components wide on the front. And that's about as close as we get. Now we're going to double click on this little mess that we have here, and find that it needs to be raised up, and then it'll fit right there, right on the top. And so the neat thing about uh, these little Tayo midcaps with the Tayo nose caps is there is a one component high uh, space under here for the top of our grav drive uh, and our reactor. Okay. Now let's take this whole mess, bring it down here, all attached up together. All right, and now we're going to attach to the front, this Shipbed 200 landing bay. Uh, the ship from Forbidden Planet, just like a lot of flying saucers, has a landing uh, ramp 
um, directly in the front when you're looking at it. The picture that I'll post up uh, for the video sort of has it a little bit diagonal to the side like this. But a lot of UFOs you see, they're facing you ominously and then that ramp comes down and something comes out of the mists pouring from the inside. And that's what's going to happen here. Now underneath, behind this landing bay, we're going to place the Deimos all-in-one berth. Okay? You can see if you've attached it right underneath here because uh, the landing bay has its entry point in the rear of the landing bay. Not on the top like a lot of them. Right? You see the little arrow? That's what tells you you're going to need a hab there. And that hab is going to need to be connected all the way up to your cockpit. So from the underside, we go through this Deimos all-in-one berth. And then into this Deimos workshop. Right? Right? and then up into the Deimos control station, and then forward into the Magellan C1X cockpit. But remember, if you're coming in from your landing bay, you can just hit R to go directly to the cockpit. And that'll be convenient. But And you can use any of uh, the HABs that you want uh, for these. Um, I just like the uh, control station because it has four crew stations. Of course, the workshop because it's got uh, all the things you need to work on your spacesuit and your weapons and to craft components. And the all-in-one berth has a bed to sleep in so that you can get your health back without having to use your med packs. Right? Okay. So, now on the bottom of that hab, in the location of your choice, you can take this uh, 100 DP Slim Docker and place that there. Either either of these places will work. We've got nothing else underneath the ship that's going to interfere with it. Okay. And then the ship from Forbidden Planet sort of has some diagonal landers uh, that stick out uh, when you're looking at the bottom of the ship. So we're going to place these underneath. This is the AccuLander 11 landing gear from Shroud Eklund, and it has two lander thrust. And we're going to actually place these on purpose uh, so that they so that, that they create that look where you're going to have a lander uh, on either side here. Like the ship is landed on a tripod of some kind, right? See how that is? Hi, Kazawana. You are getting my Forbidden Planet Flying Saucer. Um, I'm going to post this up on YouTube, but you're seeing it live. You caught me. You caught me streaming. Um, then we're going to take the AccuLander 11 landing gear, and we're going to cycle through until we have uh, the mid one. You can uh, hit Z on that piece. We're going to hit Space and then Z. And you can see you can lean it to one side or the other, and that's sort of what we've done uh, with the ones that we wanted to be diagonal. But if you hit Z the third time, you get this uh, lander uh, that's sort of for the center. And that's because this lander is going to sort of be the back of the tripod and it's going to be hidden behind the Deimos all-in-one berth. Okay? And that's great. And then we're going to take this other lander because we needed more landers on the ship. So we're going to take this other lander and pull it behind that one. So we'll actually have four. If you want to go to Saturn's moon of Titan and get the landing gear there, you could have a tripod for this ship. Um, I'm just not going to fly out there right now. Maybe maybe we will. I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't want to take too long with these videos. Uh bore you guys. In the back of the ship, we're going to place another engine <clears throat> just for a crazy amount of mobility, maximum top speed, and then we're going to place 
the Titan 550 helium tank on the either side of that. Now, if we uh, wanted to, of course, you can control G this engine and then just place it underneath. All that did was copy that Dun 71 engine. We'll place the Titan 550 helium tank on either side of that. Now the Titan 550 helium tank has 160 grav jump fuel, so you're going to have a total of 320 uh, grav jump fuel at a jump range of 30 light years. You're going anywhere you want to go, pal. I'm serious. No lie. Now you can put whatever weapons you want on the ship, and there are a lot of places to attach them. Uh, but the first thing that we're going to put on are these uh, Blaze 2GW SX lasers. They deal 46 damage to the shield and 14 damage to the hull at a fire rate of 1.5. Uh, these are Class C lasers, and I'm going to place these uh, underneath the ship. You can place them where you want. You can see when I'm when I have my uh, left mouse click uh, on this particular item. Look at all those places that you can put this weapon. Put it up here, you put it back here, you put it over here, you put it on the front. Uh, you could uh, put a weapon mount on the top and place it up there. That's not where I want it though. Um, I want it underneath the ship. So we're going to go hit F to go down to the zero location. And then we're going to take one of these Horizon weapon mount from Horizon Defense. Pull it over onto the ship. think we are. We think we are. There we go. What we're, what we're gonna do is uh, get a little disgusted and then delete these pieces because we're just going to go right there. That's where I want this piece. Um, I'm gonna hit G. And then I'm going to go to the structural. Uh, it's good to see the different ways to do this anyway. You may be doing it a different way. Put this horizon weapon mount on here. And then on the flip side of that tab, we're going to hit G again uh, on that little connector there and hit E. And that's going to put our other horizon weapon mount there. Now we should be able to... We should be able to have a problem moving these pieces around. So I'm going to pull this over here. Hopefully, let's go directly underneath. Maybe that will help us out. And pull this back and place it on the bottom of the Horizon weapon mount. There's two places for a weapon there, but weapons really won't fit on the top here because we've got the uh, Deimos hull directly above it. Okay, this one we pulled up so I could show you it attaching to the top of the ship. So we're going to hit F a couple times. Pull this down here, see how it won't fit there? Hit F two more times and drop it right there. We're at minus one, to, so to go back up even with the ship, we're going to hit R and get back to zero. That looks really cool to me uh, for a flying saucer. Okay, let's attach some more pieces here. And I put these uh, missile launchers uh, on the side of the ship. Like I said, place them where you want. If you want them in the front, that's great. I thought they were a little bit less, uh, they were a little bit more unobtrusive uh, on the sides there. And then I'm going to take this Vanguard Bulwark Shield Generator. Oh, these missile systems, like I said, put what weapons on here you want. If you do have Piloting 4 and uh, Starship Design Rank 4, have and your level 60 have have whatever weapon you want uh, these are from ballistic solutions the ce-59 missile launcher dealing 159 damage to the hull and 153 damage to the shields okay that that's a, that is a serious weapon and you've got two of them on here for the extra recharge time and all that we're going to place a an equipment plate on top of our engine in the back of the ship on top of the Dun uh, 71 engine, and then we're just going to drop this PBO 300 
auto alpha turret, you know that I love this when I'm being chased to just be dropping 22 damage on their hull and 22 damage on their shield at all times. I think that's great. So then we've got the Vanguard Bulwark Shield Generator that we're going to put on the top of the ship right in the middle. And you know what that says to everybody? That says, really? I'm a circle. Right? Okay. It doesn't really, but but you can see the UFO sort of shape to it uh, with the landing bay opening in the front. And these would be like two parts of the tripod that's the landing gear. I think it looks really cool. Now you can color the entire ship by double clicking on it. You could have whatever color ship you want. I used uh, a light gray for most of the ship. Okay. You could do all three colors that way. You could get a, a, a darker gray to get a little bit of a contrast in the way that the ship looks. Uh, or even you could see what a little bit of black would look like on there. That almost looks like a camo camouflage there. Okay. A little bit of color might be nice, uh, but whatever you like. I'm going to hit accept on that. And then to accentuate the top of the ship, um, I... I clicked on this first Tayo nose cap, right, which uh, highlighted this in orange, and then I held down control while I clicked on the other pieces around uh, the top portion of the ship. You can do this with the uh, cockpit, the cargo hold, and all of the side caps. And now you're coloring them all at the same time. All right. Did we miss anything? We missed our uh, nose aft caps here from Hope Tech and the side caps underneath. You can take just the entire top of that. Could have colored this uh, before we brought it over also. Uh, but if you had uh, like a gray scheme on the bottom and you want to accentuate the circular shape of the top, uh, then you can go into your color, and you could color, say, the whole thing a lot lighter shade. And we're going to go with uh, all white for this, I suppose. You could uh, you could take the shade down a little bit um, on the color one if you didn't want it to be so stark. Just take it down to where you think it, it, it accentuates the fact that the uh, top of the ship is... Uh, A different section of the ship there. That probably looks, looks good. We're gonna hit accept on that. And then uh, after you've attached all your weapon systems, don't forget to go in, hit C, go into your weapon systems, and then I like to put the laser on left click. Uh, so that's what I've done here. The Blaze 2G WSX laser. The missile launcher on right click for after I'm locked and then set it and forget it, the PBO 300 auto alpha turret on the back of the ship uh, will just be shooting at your enemies uh, whenever they're close and maybe chasing you. Okay, so then you can uh, hit close on that after that and all of your systems are nominal. And this particular ship, okay, given level 60, uh, for the C-class ship you need piloting rank 4 and for some of the systems that I've uh, picked you need uh, Starship Design Rank 4, but we went all out with this. Uh, the rich people is with the monies and the going all out, okay? And I think we've done a pretty good job here. You're going to have to tell me what you think uh, in the comments. You know I always reply uh, as quickly as I can. Uh, but this is going to be the C-57D Space Cruiser uh, from Forbidden Planet. Now, we probably ought to take this out, don't you think? Let's take it out. Let's see what we get. We're going to make this our home ship. And take it out, our little flying saucer. I picked hey, up something you might you be interested might want in. This. Okay, space, take off. Ship's ready. Pick a star. Any star. Now 
There you go. You got that flying saucer sort of effect. I like it. Achieving orbit now. Okay, now we're out in space. Gosh, when it turns, it's even uh, more circular to my eye. But at any rate, look at the energy distribution that we have. We have all of our weapon systems fully powered. Okay, we can put one in the grab drive, which is what I usually do, just so we can grab jump if we want. And then look at that uh, engine power that you've got. So if you have the skill uh, and level capability to do that, boy, I sure recommend it. Let's get up to full speed, see what we get. 150 cruising speed and then boosters. Five. Uh, almost six. We're probably uh, overloaded with cargo, uh, knowing this particular builder character that I have. It used to be my main character, level 67, and uh, I just now use it as the builder uh, for these build videos. Anyway, let's go to Titan, Saturn's moon Titan in the Sol system. See if we can put these other landers on here and then end up with just three landers. But here's the moon of Titan. Saturn's moon of Titan, and we're going to New Homestead. And that is the current home of Nova Galactic Star Yard. Their Star Yard in orbit uh, was taken over by spacers. So you might want to help them out with that. Although, in the game, they won't ever get it back. Because you know, that's how it is. But, for some reason, I'm underneath the ship. Instead of walking out of the landing bay, I dropped, I dropped right out of this. You know what? I was using the docker. I came out the wrong hole. Sorry about that, guys. My bad. Anything so we're going to go to the ship we're services technician and say you want to view and okay, modify your no ships. And then we're going to modify our... I can't change this name. I don't know why it's doing it. It used to be a derelict uh, something uh, that I took. Uh, but at any rate... Let's go ahead and go in and get this uh, new landing gear. We're going to go to the B for the ship builder, pull away from it, and then grab the landing gear that we want. I believe this is the only place that they sell it. So, And that is the NG-20 landing gear from Nova Galactic, lander thrust of four, requiring starship design of rank two. And you can go with any of the variations of it that you want. Okay, we have one with the two lander, one that's a mid, right? And then one that is a four. Okay. I guess it doesn't really matter for the tripod. Maybe we just go with the, we go with the mid on that NG20. Okay. And we're going to take that down by hitting F until it's green. That means it's at the level of the ship where it can be the lander for the ship, landing gear. And then we're gonna take all of our landing gear off of here, see what we get. See if we can drop a tripod onto this thing. So let's go underneath the ship, proper view, pull this over and place one there, I suppose. And then hit Control G to copy it. Place one on the other side so it'll look like a tripod. And we already have a nominal build, but let's not have those two landers. I think that would be silly. So let's hit Control G on that, pull this lander back. Now we have a tripod for the ship, and that's great. Because each of these provides four, we had four that provided two. Just two of them will provide the uh, lander thrust that we need to land this ship. But let's not scratch our butt every time we land the ship and uh, we'll place these, this other one in the back for sort of that tripod sort of look. I think it looks really great uh, as, a, as a saucer type ship. Now I had a whole layer of this cowling underneath as well, but then it just looked too thick uh, compared to the saucer from Forbidden Planet. So I decided to cut it down so it would look thinner. Now you got to kind of 
ignore some of this st stuff down here, but the lander sort of hides it from the eye from the front. Yeah? Okay. Well, that's it for the ship build. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not going to go kill any pirates or anything like that. You can. You've got some uh, wonderful weapons and uh, some great maneuverability. Um, a jump range that will get uh, you gone really fast if you need it. And I hope you enjoyed the ship build. Uh, check out uh, the other social media that we have up here. Uh, I've got a Discord channel up. If you are interested in chatting uh, while we're on or... If you're interested in chatting while we're not on, um, just send me an invite to Quest AL TV and let me know that you uh, that you love the channel and uh, would like to be part of the voice chat. Twitter, if you want to send me pictures of your ships or funny things that happen uh, in Starfield. Uh, Facebook, because I'm old. And also the YouTube channel, which uh, just has ship builds, and this will be going up on that YouTube channel shortly. And I really appreciate uh, everything that you do, watching the stream, watching the YouTube videos, making great comments uh, about the ships, and giving me suggestions. And we'll see you next time, uh, tonight actually, 9 p.m. Mountain Time, uh, on Quest AL TV.